Good morning, everybody. What the heck is this mic doing? Uh, yeah, another YouTube live stream. Here's what I want to cover today. Yesterday, Bigger Pockets is David Green stated he wasn't planning on a recession, and uh, quite frankly, he's wrong. I'm going to tell you why. I'll be right back. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Paige. I see you over there. I know you did your 50 push-ups already this morning. I am probably going to skip today because I'm freaking sore as hell from my uh, pool activities, if you saw that on. Uh, but good morning, Paige. Yes, sir, I am live today. The only day I've been uh, trying to take off on the lives is um, uh, on Sundays. And uh, the reason being is I don't like doing these. I, I, I was talking to... Um, Central investor this morning and I let him know I'm doing these lives I don't like doing them uh, I can't wait for day 30 to so I can have my out because this has been my 30-day challenge but uh, what's up everybody my name is Jay Helms and if you're not familiar with my story uh, yeah ninja in the pool um, I've been actively investing in real estate since 2014 and since then I've grown my portfolio to 328 units I did this while working a full-time job and helping my amazing wife raise our three incredible kids now, I am just one of 38.6 million Americans unemployed to, to, due to COVID-19. And because of our activities over the last several years, we're able to comfortably exit the W-2 world and focus on real estate investing full time. So today I want to talk to you about three different things. Uh, BP's David Green is wrong about the recession. Number two, my big win from yesterday. And number three, my, my one thing for today. So here's what I, before I get into that let's talk about uh, I want to talk about a couple of our affiliates and our sponsors uh, or excuse me our, our affiliates if you don't know about deal check uh, deal check oh they're over here nope I'm confused the mirror things mess me up if you don't know about deal check check them out they have the easiest way to analyze a property and what I'll do in the replay I'll, I'll uh, post the, the, the replay link here for where I did a demo of showing you how easy the software actually is. And it's about five bucks a month when you commit to an annual subscription and you use the um, promo code W2CAP. That promo code W2CAP will give you 25% off of whatever level you're using. They do have different levels. The first one's free. You can use it as long as you want. The way they do this uh, is they unlock as you need other features and locks. It costs you a little bit of money, uh, but check them out. I'll post the link for, for you guys watching on YouTube. I'll put the link right here, but also for you guys in Facebook, check out the YouTube, uh, YouTube live. Subscribe to that, please. Um, I'm going to start posting all of the podcasts that I'm doing. I have the recorded audio for that uh, going to the podcast streams, but also we always record the audio as well, and um, that's a big, big thing. I've got, I mean, we record the video as well. So I've got the video just kind of sitting out there. Uh, it just makes the conversation a little bit more personal. If you can uh, stream it while you're at work or whatever you're doing uh, to get to know the piece, people that are I'm interviewing and their facial expressions and just, it, hey, helps with the conversation so much better. Uh, second thing I want to mention to you is OUR. I got some uh, new swag, which, by the way, they may be competing with me for the most comfortable shirt ever. But this is one of those that they had. It's a 2020 shirt. There's a 2020 logo on the back that I saw for uh, – that was on clearance. I was like, all right, I got an, I have another shirt. I've got a – I can turn around. My only one is back there on the um, – but we – is on the shelf back there but i highly support uh, operation underground railroad if you're not familiar with who they are they exist uh tim ballard is their ceo former special ops guy uh exist to help abolish child sex trafficking and just human trafficking in general which uh I, my understanding is more apparent today than ever 
uh, in the history of the modern world. So to learn more about them and get connected directly to our fundraiser page, uh, text W2CAP to 41404 and you'll get a link directly to, to their site. Um, but yeah, amazing, amazing organization. Uh, but yeah, let's dive into why I think uh, David Green is wrong. First off, let me bring up uh, the actual clip so you guys know what I'm talking about. And hopefully I've got everything set up correctly here. Um, yeah, so here is – so I'm a big fan of Bigger Pockets. I was on their podcast, show 282, when um, uh, a while back. Man, that was a while back, uh, a couple of years ago. And I've learned so much for them. But David goes on to – and I'm going to play this little clip here in a minute – and talking about the recession and how he's not planning for one. So let me play the clip, and then I'll zoom into why, why I think he's wrong. Going on, everyone. This is the Bigger Pockets Podcast here with your host, Brandon Turner, with my co-host, Mr. David Green. What's up, David Green? How you doing, man? I'm amazing. We're talking real estate. What can be better than this? I got uh, it's springtime. This is pretty much the time when the real estate market heats up the most, and people keep talking about this recession that we're supposed to have. And man, my phone is blowing up every day. It is awesome with people that want to sell their house and want to buy a house. So yeah, um, you know, from where I'm standing. I don't, I'm not preparing for a recession. I'm seeing that uh, there's a lot of demand for real estate still. What were you going to say? Going live, people. I still haven't figured out how to click the right button. But as you can see, David there talks about he's not planning for a recession, right? Um, by the way, I don't think David is trying to be malicious or, or do anything like that or cause anybody any kind of confusion. But as someone who isn't compensated on a real estate transaction as any realtor, he could be very well too close to that situation, right? Um, I think there's a couple of, of popular sayings that you can't see the forest fire because of the tree sort of thing or running with blinders on is probably the most uh, accurate one. But here's why I think I'm, he's wrong. And, and I'm on a quest for my next apartment complex, right? I'm telling my partners and my potential partners that I don't expect any deals will really be worth looking at for next several months. Um, now, if you saw me on uh, Facebook uh, yesterday, I was talking about how excited it was that I had three different opportunities come into my inbox um, that I need to underwrite. I am still underwriting. It's one of those things where it's muscle memory for me. I'm looking at things. Uh, but, and I'm making offers. I made an LOI uh, or, or ver not an LOI, a verbal offer yesterday uh, to, a, it was a smaller deal. It was an eight unit um, uh, complex in a C neighborhood. And um, I, quite frankly, I called the owner after I sent it to him, fully expecting him to cuss me out because of the number that I gave him. Um, but his, his response was, look, I haven't had a sorry text. Uh, I haven't had time to dive into it. Uh, I'll call you in a couple of days. So I'll, I'll keep you updated. But here's why I think David is wrong, right? Right now, approximately 40 million Americans are without work. Um, the economy is being propped up for the most part with that $600 a week stimulus check. Uh, and that includes tenant or allows tenants to pay their rents and homeowners to pay their mortgages, right? Uh, but those stimulus checks are set to expire July 31st. Meaning that after that happens, uh, unless Congress steps in and you, those guys up on uh, the Capitol agree with where we should go next. I've seen a couple of different bills being proposed. One was actually a bonus for people to go back to work, which I thought was funny. Um, but none have passed, right? So none have passed to extend the stimulus package or subsidize that 40 million Americans, unemployed workers like myself. And while certain states are starting to, to open back up, um, the economy doesn't turn on like a, like a light switch, right? So let's look at the, the great recession of, of 2008. Let me get back to over here, um, to this. So first thing I want to show you, this is a zoomed out view. So this is, um, this is a, uh, snapshot from trending economics of the unemployment rate since they've been tracking it, right? For as long as this go back now on the right side of the graph, right over here next to the 2016, this is actually 2020. That blue line that you see going all the way up, that is not the border of the graph. That is the spike in, un in unemployment, right? Nowhere else in the history of uh, examining unemployment 
do we have a line as straight and as skyrocketing as that one? Right. But I don't want to focus on it. I want to zoom in. Um, let's zoom in to from where everybody who's been in real estate for investing for a while or has been around for the last uh, 10, 12 years, you went through 2008, right? You started understanding what um, the Great Recession was about, right? Maybe you were affected by it. Maybe you weren't. Chances are you know somebody who was affected by it. Um, but as you can see, and, and, and reminder, and I should have labeled this, I did not, and I apologize for being late today. Uh, Jerry Lee, if you want to bust my balls on the next mastermind meeting for being late on Saturday morning, uh, do it, because I, I definitely ran late, and it is my fault. Uh, but if you look at this graph, again, this graph is showing unemployment history uh, from, let's just call it 2005 to 2020. Again, that right-handed column, that blue line, is not a border for this graph. That is the spike in unemployment that we've seen in the last couple of, of months. So what I'd like to do is correlate this graph with um, with what we saw with, um, sorry, I saw a chat and it distracted me and I've got to get better. I've got my dual screen set up. I, I was so excited. The extra part came in or cable came in for me to connect my dual screens. I've got it set up. I was ready to go this morning. Um, I tinkered around with it yesterday afternoon, making sure it was all right. And I, <laughs> I got up this morning to turn everything on and I troubleshot that second monitor, which is up there. It won't come on for whatever reason. So, um, the show must go on, but this graph is very interesting because as unemployment rises, what we can also correlate is the height of the real estate investing market, right? So in 2008, 2009, we saw the best prices, people were cashing out, um, maybe 2007, but leading up to this spike in 2008, um, and it kind of capped at 2010 and started going back down, as you can see, we started seeing people buy real estate. Matter of fact, if you bought, uh, let me bring this up, uh, and mark some stuff up, because I realize that you guys don't get to see what I'm pointing at or with my mouse cursor, you don't get to see for whatever reason. But if you bought within 2010 and 2016, you got things at a, a pretty much of a discount, right? Now, I think it's worth mentioning, too, that even though it's at 14.7% unemployment right now, there are analysts out there that say those numbers are fudged a little bit, that it's closer to 20%. Uh, I'm not going to get into all that here, but let's just know that that right side of that graph where we are today we are on unprecedented times, right? And I hate that freaking saying because it is way overused. But if you look at, let's go back to the entire snapshot of unemployment history. Never in the in the studying of unemployment have we seen this type of, of unemployment, right? At least according to uh, trendingeconomics.com. So, so check them out. But let's go back to the zoomed in view. So 2010 to 2016 was a huge buying opportunity. Uh, matter of fact, we bought uh, we bought and sold a lot of properties uh, within that time frame, and we did really well. Right now, we we bought some in 2017, sold some sold some in 2019, and then we reinvested those funds um, money back into some larger uh, syndications. So, what I'm saying here is, and this kind of wraps this thing up, is that if you overlay the graph of unemployment history versus uh, what the real estate market has done. They correlate very well, right? There's a lot of parallels. Now, the thing that, the difference here is, and I was talking to, to um, somebody about this earlier this week, the difference here is in 2008, there was no, there was very little stimulus money, if any, right? There was no IDLE, there was no CARES Act. Um, but I think, my opinion, is that is just prolonging uh, the soon-to-be recession. Because, and could even be a depression, right? Which a depression is, is um, three quarters of negative GDP growth. Um, I think uh, that we are headed that way. Um, quite simply because that number is way too big, right? It's almost double, um, depending on who you think, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's 40 to 50% um, of what we've been through before. So I think something's coming. It really depends on what the government's going to do with these stimulus and care and uh, stimulus money cares act um 
because if they don't pa- if they don't pass a package or um, help with that, the economy is not going to turn back on. This is the point I was trying to get to earlier. You know, CEOs and uh, small business owners, they're watching this economy. They're not going to turn things back on pretty quickly because the other fear there that you'll probably start to see is, as things starting to reopen is that um, the other fear that's been put out there is that cases of corona are going to start coming back up. They're going to start spiking again. We'll see, right? We'll see if that happens. But if that does happen, then we go right back through the cycle again. So I think this is where I think David's wrong. Uh, And I'm using these data points, the unemployment history from trending economics and what we all know through. And if you look at the same graph, uh, I should have grabbed one to overlay it, but of how the housing market did, it's very much the same thing, right? Um, fair, fall very similar trend lines. So, <clears throat> by the way, um, I'm grabbing the stimulus package updates from Erica Kohlberg. Uh, she is an attorney who is, is focused on personal finance. And if you, f- you can follow her on YouTube, um, she does a lot of stuff on Instagram as well. I'll put the link in the description for those of you watching on YouTube, but I'll also put, a, I think I can put a link in here, uh, to pop up, but, um, no, nonetheless, uh, Erica has been a good resource. She puts out almost daily, um, uh, updates around that. So it's pretty good. Um, so in my opinion, if you're not paying attention to the historical data around unemployment rates and how it overlaps, that is a deadly mistake. And yes, that's a play on words. Um, with their, the title of the show that David and, and uh, Brandon were talking about. Um, but here's what I like to do. If you agree with me, I want you to hit the like button. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. I want to know. I want to know how I'm wrong, right? Um, all right, so that's that's a big thing. I want to talk to you about how I think David Green's wrong. The other two things, my big win from yesterday, and then the third thing is my one thing for today. So I tell you about my big wins, not to brag. Uh, in some cases, I'm going to go through my spill here. In some cases, uh, you might be thinking that that's not that big of a win, and that's fine. The idea here is recognizing those big wins as part of a middle game that you hear enough. Uh, you hear enough of those, you start to recognize the momentum that you have around you, right? Uh, we do this every week in the Mastermind. Uh, I'd love to see you in your – see your big wins in the comments but mine from yesterday you know as many offers as i've made verbal uh lois or actually just on contracts the one i made yesterday was a growing opportunity for me meaning that hang on my voice is starting to get scratchy meaning that what i offered um this guy was about 50 percent of probably what the property is worth to date now, I am adding in what I think is going to happen if the stimulus packages don't don't uh, go forward, right? So there, there's an old saying that if, you, if the offer doesn't make you nervous, then you're not uh, offering low enough. Uh, yesterday, I was pretty nervous. It wasn't ridiculous, right? It, it, again, I justified it. I actually sent, speaking of deal check, um, they provide these uh, very handy-dandy reports. And I'll put the link again. I think I can put another link here for that. But I just sent him said, look, here's my offer. Here's why. Right? If we're in the same ballpark, let me know. Um, and again, I'm, I'm waiting on to hear from that. From that. But my big win is, is I pushed myself out, outside of my comfort zone, made an offer that made sense to me. But if I'm the owner of this, and this guy's owned this property for 30-something years, he's actually built them. He built um, all – eight or 10 units that's on there. I think it's 10, but he, he doesn't want to sell two of them for whatever reason. Um, I would be a little insulted. Was not my intention. I'm just trying to hedge my, my win against the, what I think is the coming recession. So my one thing for today, same with the, the big win. I'm not telling you to be a braggart, just showing you that it helps to focus on that big hairy thing that you may or may not want to do. Uh, if you're dreading doing something today, I'll give you a pro tip. That's the thing you need to do right, right now, right? Stop watching this. Just go tackle what you're doing because the longer you wait, the more you're going to build it up inside your head. And it's not going to be that big of a deal. You're just going to stress over a bunch of nothing, bunch of nothing. So, um, this is a, uh, something I've adopted from the book titled the one thing by Jay Papazan. 
But my one thing today is a little personal DIY uh, project. And if you saw the picture of the video I posted, it's in the group here, uh, in the Facebook group. Which, by the way, I I'm learning that it, even though if you're watching on YouTube, you don't know about the Facebook group. If you're watching in the Facebook group, you don't know you're in YouTube. We're on YouTube as well. But uh, here's where we're, we're at. Uh, I do have a like goal. So if there's 100 people watch this that agree with me, give me a thumbs up. Um, but then also check us out. We've got a real strong community on the Facebook. It's called the W2 Capitalist Community. Uh, there is a link in the description below. But my one thing is the fireplace project. Uh, I tried to import a photo to show you what I've been working with uh, or a video. and It just wasn't working. I was having some technical difficulties. But if, you, if you're interested in, in what that is, um, go back and look in the in the community. I went live showing you guys what I was working with last weekend, but I'm just ready to put that to bed. I know my wife's ready for that project to be over with as well. But that's it, guys. So that was my um, so the three things we talked about, right? Why BP's uh, David Green is wrong. My my big win from yesterday, and my one thing for today. That's it, guys. Enjoy your Saturday. I will talk to you again soon. But remember, if you like anything I said, hit hit the little like button. But also subscribe and get the little bell so you know when, when uh, new videos are dropped. Uh, no page. I am not using the brick to build a couch. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. By the way, you, you keep encouraging me to do the 50 push-ups. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know or are on, on Facebook, uh, we're doing a, a challenge with, with Will Smith. Um, 30 days straight of uh, 50 push-ups. Uh, you don't have to do them all at the same time, but just 50 push-ups in a day. When you do it, do hashtag 50 with Will, tag Will Smith, tag me in it, whatnot. I, I was going to skip today because I am sore, but Paige, I keep seeing your videos, man. You're encouraging me to do more and more of that. So uh, before I get to my one thing, I'm going to knock out 50 push-ups because if not, I'm, I'm going to not do it at all. You guys have a great day. Check out Deal Check. T check out OUR. Again, you can text W2CAP to 41404. Let me move this out of your, oh, this out of your way so you can see that. Uh, to learn about what, in my opinion, is the most awesome organization on the planet. But you guys have a great, great day and even better weekend. And I will see you on Monday at 9 a.m.